The echoed output from our select demo script certainly isn't very elegant. So we're going to combine this with our knowledge of tables from earlier. In a fresh code pane, select the snippet transition to table, which is exactly the same as our select demo, but save this one again in our DB whip folder as select table demo. We can collapse the header and the connection section and just focus on the code inside our connection trap. When we execute this, if we're going to put the output into a table, before we start our while statement, we'll need to put in a table header, all of the HTML code that puts in the first row of a table. After our while statement, we'll need to put in the code to finish off a table. And instead of our single echo statement, we need to replace this with a repeated HTML table row construct. So if we mark all this and delete it and paste in the snippet select with table, we've put in our start table HTML. We've put in a table row with five columns and headers. And instead of our echo statement, which is just one line of statement, we've put in a table row which will be repeated for each value of the five variables we cycle through. The counter index, which is incremented each time we cycle through, and for each value of salutation, first name, last name, and company ID. If we save this and look at it in the browser, refresh the dbwhip folder and choose the select table demo, we've got exactly the same thing pasted into a table which looks a little more elegant.